So three months ago when I headed over to Thailand to cover the Galax OC event, which was an awesome event by the way, Galax hinted at a new Hall of Fame graphics card being released in the first quarter of 2018. Many of us, and myself included, thought that was a hint at the new Volta gaming graphics cards. But as fate would have it, it was actually referring to the 1070 Ti Hall of Fame. So here this card is, and let's put it on the test bench and see what it can do. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with a review of this awesome card right here. This is the 1070 Ti Hall of Fame. Now it is a 2.5 slot cooler, so it is absolutely massive, and you do have to be careful what case you're mounting it into. It just fit in my uh, Corsair Air 740 case, so it comes in at around 31 centimeters long, has a backplate as well, steel backplate, got two sections of RGB lighting, Hall of Fame on the side, and a Hall of Fame on the top, which you can change the RGB lighting itself in the software. Also weighs in at 1.3 kilograms, has three fans as well, and they do a phenomenal job of cooling. Though, of course, I'm sure you came here to see the benchmarks, so let's get on with those. So now when it comes to gaming and the 1070 Ti, as you've seen in those results, it does fit in between the 1070 and the 1080, coming very close to the 1080 in a lot of cases. This graphics card here, what makes it so special, however, is the noise. When you are gaming, you can overclock this thing and even leave the fan on the stock profile and you'll get amazing temperatures. I was measuring up to 66 degrees. Of course, though, in those temperature tests, we did adjust them for the deltas. For those cards that I previously tested in the past, which were tested at 25 degree ambient temperatures. So delta wise, the noise is impressive, the overclocks are impressive, and of course on the back of the card, you get the switch as well. The switch, the missile launch button, what this will do is put your fans on 100% and it will just be an easy to use option, especially if you're a crypto miner as well. But with that aside, let's take a quick listen to the noise. So what we saw with those tests was two different things. If you're a gamer and you are OCD about noise, you can keep the noise down and extremely quiet and still game and still get really good performance out of this graphics card. Though if you are OCD about temperatures, then you can just turn the fan profile up to max with that button and you'll get some of the best. And actually, I think this is actually the best temperatures I've seen out of a graphics card out of the box. Of course, you can put aftermarket coolers on, but they'll perform very similar to this one. This is a really good cooling solution out of the box. Extremely impressive with the Hall of Fame. It's what makes this thing absolutely beast-tastic, if that's a word, but comparing it side by side with the 1080 uh, GTX 1080 Ti from Galax, their standard edition, uh, this thing just trumps it in size, and this is a 1070 Ti. So <laughs> yes, the 1080 Ti is more powerful, but that shows you what the Hall of Fame can do, why it's such a powerful graphics card, Though, of course, as much as I'm impressed by the 1070 Ti Hall of Fame, they do come at a premium, especially even over Galaxy's own 1070 Ti graphics cards. I'm told this is uh, commanding an extra $50 MSRP US over that standard edition. Though, of course, after seeing this card and seeing what it can do, and especially making it in the league of its own, especially in terms of overclocking and the noise profiles, I would gladly pay that as a consumer over the standard 1070 Ti. It is one phenomenal card. And also another thing that makes this graphics card really damn good is the mining benchmarks. Now I know some people out there are not gonna like the fact that I'm covering mining, but in some of the previous videos, 
I am in that in between. I am a gamer and a miner personally. It's actually the best performance I've seen for a graphics card in terms of cryptocurrencies. As if Galax have basically optimized this graphics card for cryptocurrency mining, at least on Equihash. So with a 0.3.4 EWBF miner, we saw performance that was really impressive. When I overclocked this thing, 190 watts total system draw from the wall, we're getting around 520 souls, which is extremely impressive. This was with the latest drivers from Nvidia, the 390.77. They also made a slight difference compared to the previous drivers I had on my computer. So if you are into mining Equihash, you'll probably want to update to the latest drivers from Nvidia. Though on that note as well, the uh, performance when I did do a sweet spot clock, which I'm used to doing, especially on a 1080 TR or 1080 with mining, uh, this card here didn't really perform that well. I mean, I dropped the TDP limit, up the memory, down the clock a bit, and we're getting around 470 souls and we're draining about 180 watts consistently from the wall. Out of the box, however, we're getting around 450 souls and that was hovering between 170 and 200 watts. So it was inconsistent. So if anything, if you are getting this graphics card, you will want to manually set, especially the fan speeds up to 100% and even lock in a sweet spot overclock for this thing. So in this case, it's a rare exception, but if you were into mining, I would recommend overclocking this graphics card, which is weird because all the other cards I've had through here, I would not recommend. Uh, but for the extra watts, for the extra performance you're getting, it's uh, highly recommended. This is a very uh, enigmatic graphics card to say the least. And keep in mind, I do not have aircon in this studio here at the moment. It's very hot, it's summer. You may even be able to see a little bit of sweat coming off me during this review. So ultimately when it comes down to it, the 1070 Ti Hall of Fame is a card that is equipped for gamers and also miners. I'm not gonna sit here and beat around the bush and tell you it's better for one and the other. It's actually well equipped for both different markets. Of course, the cryptocurrency mining boom uh, pretty much making these things out of stock everywhere. I will update the description when these things are back in stock for you guys and let you know where you can get one of these cards from. So now looking at those gaming benchmarks, a little bit more in depth. You can see at 1080p on basically max settings on every game, this graphics card handle all those games with over 100 FPS. So if you're into high refresh rate gaming and you like your graphics settings really high, this card will deliver. I think PUBG was the only game that got just slightly under 100 FPS average on max settings. Keep in mind, you can turn the settings down to high and you'll get an absolutely phenomenal experience, even at 2K. If we step it up to 4K, this card can handle some games. Of course, some games it can't handle at 60 FPS, but I don't think you'd be going for this card for 4K gaming. Even though if you turned it down to medium or high settings, you'd still get 60 FPS. But there we have it, guys. This is a card that does do very well when it comes to gaming performance. And the last thing to touch on with the 1070 Ti Hall of Fame is quite simply the build quality. You get that, of course, 1.3 kilogram cooler, as we mentioned before, white and silver themed aesthetic. You've also got RGB as well to match it to the build even though it comes with white LED lighting out of the box. One DVI, three display ports, and one HDMI 2.0 out on the rear of the card. You've also got that missile launch button on the rear of the card, which is very easy to control if you need fan speeds at your disposal. You've also got a white PCB, which is 12 layers, and there's an eight plus three phase power design to go with that. Eight phases dedicated to the GPU, three phases dedicated to the memory, two eight pin connectors as well. So this thing is designed to overclock extremely high. And of course that air cooler is a uh, phenomenal out of the box too. So basically this is a graphics card that hits all the boxes and I'm gonna give this thing the yes seal of approval. It impressed me that much. If you get one of these graphics cards, you are gonna be extremely impressed with it. Though do keep in mind, as I said before, if you are fitting this into a case 31 centimeters long before it fits into the case, make sure you have the clearance or this graphics card if you wish to fit it into your current PC case. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below what you think of the 1070 Ti Hall of Fame and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.